Hi everyone, this is Samantha with the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. In this short lesson, we're going to show you how to add a Windows Minion to our Saltmaster. It's really easy, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out with a new server 2012 R2 instance on AWS. Since you're probably pretty comfortable spinning up new VMs by now, we skipped ahead and are now RDP'd into the instance. First up, we need to make sure we can resolve the Saltmaster. So go ahead and open up a PowerShell window with administrative privileges and run ping salt. Ah, ugh, that didn't work so well. Just like on our Linux salt minion episode, the right way to fix this would be to add an entry for salt to our DNS server. But for now, let's just add the IP address of our master to the hosts file. Go ahead and run add dash content c colon slash windows slash system32 slash drivers slash etsy slash hosts followed by the IP of your salt master and the word salt within quotes. Okay, perfect. We didn't even need to open up notepad. Now go ahead and rerun ping salt. Okay, good. There we go. We're now ready to install the salt minion service. But before we do that, let's briefly talk about the different ways we can install the minion. One way is to download the setup file from repo.saltstack.com and run the installation by hand. If we wanted to run the installer silently, we could do so by simply passing the following three parameters to the exe. Slash s for silent, slash master equals the name of our master, and slash minion dash name equals the name of our minion. A second way to install the minion service is to use something called salt cloud, which would actually take care of everything, including provisioning the instance itself. Salt Cloud is actually really awesome, but it is quite a bit more advanced than what we're going to cover in this episode. But don't worry, we will certainly cover it later on in a longer lesson. And then the last method, which is perhaps our favorite, is to bootstrap the server with a single line of PowerShell. So let's go ahead and try that now. Run invoke expression, or IEX for short, new dash object net dot web client dot download string http colon slash slash devopslibrary.com slash bootstrap dash salt dot ps1. Wow, that was painful to type, but that's it. A single command and we're good to go. You may be wondering why the URL to the bootstrap is at our website and not at SaltStacks. The reason is because we modified the Windows bootstrap code with a few additional changes. The biggest difference is that our script allows you to call it via invoke expression, and additionally, it automatically locates the latest SaltStack installer instead of having an old version hard-coded in the script. Don't worry, we do have a pull request in, and it should be updated soon, but in the meantime, feel free to use our script. Okay, back to our lesson. We're just about finished, but remember, we do still need to accept the minion's key. So go ahead and SSH into the master, then run salt key A to accept the key. Perfect, that's really all it is. We have now officially set up our first Windows Salt Minion and we can control it completely from the master. Great job so far. And in the next few lessons, we're gonna really do some amazing things with Salt. Thank you so much as always for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Every little bit helps. And you may even get early access to our new videos. You never know. Thanks again and bye-bye.